Bitch of Friday. The freshest. <laughs> she's, she's like, um, one of the ways I could compare, um, for me, she's like Amy Winehouse of mm. Asia. Like even her story, rest in peace to Amy Winehouse. Yeah. I love her music, but yeah, she's she was something different when she ca- came out in a K-pop star. You know, mm-hmm. like everybody was amazed because even like my age group and you know when she came out, she was just singing like the old stuff. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. like like the old soul music. You know, like Anita Baker type of songs. Mm-hmm. You know, and. She was like the only child that was singing that the stuff that we knew, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the stuff my mom used to listen to, you know? <laughs> and she just had that soul and she just yeah, she was she was just amazing, like from the beginning, when she was like 16, 17, when she came out. She's yeah. beautiful as well. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I I adore watching her live clips. Like her live vocal stuff, like the stuff she did with Crush before in Christmas. Mm-hmm. Oh, beautiful. It's just so wonderful. Her vocal mm-hmm. tonality is so warm. That it's makes sense crazy. you say that actually, because there's the stuff we seem to enjoy of her um, is that soulfulness that she does bring to things. So it's it's no no coincidence then that you know that is kind of how she started with that sound, you know? Mm-hmm. And she knows all about the the classics and the mm. Uh, the music of old, which was like, because I'm really, since when I was young, I used to like the music from like, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, and she just know everything, you know, she just know everything. And she, yeah, she's, she's something different. Like everything about her is just, is, she's, um, she's one of the true artists in Korea. Yeah. Right. I love that, and I, oh. it, she recently just signed, it signed with AOMG, didn't she? Yeah, like yeah. that, that that's really cool because I think it also brought like a whole different um, light to her crea- creativity. Like it's shining a different side, it's showing a different side of her, and it is is really cool. I'm I'm really liking what she's doing yeah, lately. Like, like her more intimate stuff, like the acoustic stuff she's been putting out, dude. It's just clean, man. It's, it's just so smooth. And, and especially the one she did with Iruma, the pianist. Yes, yes. That that's amazing, you know. Which one? I'm, which one was that? It was it was a, oh. a like a piano, like uh, what like an orchestra type of like arrangement of hollow, but it was just beautiful, yeah. Efra. It was right. absolutely gorgeous. I gotta right. show you it. So he's like the legend pianist in Korea, you know, oh. Iruma. Yeah, check check out his stuff and he. I heard he was like number one on Billboard for a while, not too long ago. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, all of his music in a classic genre era. Area. Yeah. That's and insane. A, yeah, it's crazy, right? <laughs> and and they did a collab one and it was just like, it just fits right, you know? Lehigh yeah. and Irma, you know? And it was like perfect, you know?